going on guys it's your boy Sasuke Uchi I'm back with another video guys I hope you guys are having a good day and an amazing day and I know it's been so long since I last posted and I know this video quality pretty much probably sucks right now and you guys are seeing the camera you know all like wiggly and stuff like that but guys I am back today with of course a new and updated odd eyes pure build deck list now, I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys smash that thumbs up button, hit subscribe if you're not subscribed, and hit the notification bell so you can be up no so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Guys, this uh, deck profile is actually um, pretty insane. I've had some pretty awesome encounters with it uh, by playing it, and I know that you know I haven't really been posting, but you know. This one is actually, um, this one was only made possible because of a homeboy, Ruben, and I will get to later on show you guys, um, two other decks that, or two or three other decks that I've been working on, that way you guys can see, you know, hey, what has your boy been up to? Alright, so let's get into this. First off, you're obviously going to be running your main three Odd Eyes Dragons. It used to be. Uh, three pendulum dragons, but now you your main focus right now is three arc pendulums mainly because if it's pendulum ability the pendulum ability allows you to each time an odd eyes monster is destroyed you can special summon a monster right back to the field now guys there's actually a little bit of controversy over this card okay so for all you who all of you guys who play this uh, play any deck that uh, plays a ritual monster in it tell me if this like this card says you can bring out any monster. Now I want you guys to get the get a judge to see this and I want you guys to have a judge rule it. Can you use this monster's ability to bring out say Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon to the field from your deck? But that's just something to speculate on for right now. But of course, great level great level 7 for rank 7 plays and of course, great pendulum scale. Moving on next, we have two Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragons. Now, I know I used to run three, but it was a little bit bulky, so we died it down to two to see how well it would run, and it actually runs way better now than what it did before. So you have your two Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragons, mainly for uh, rank seven plays, and at the same time, of course, its ability to just do uh, double damage when it does damage to your opponent when it goes into a battle. Then you have your two Odd Eyes uh, Phantom Dragon, of course, rank 7s, rank 7 plays. Uh, pendulum Scale is actually pretty OP because of the fact that uh, once per turn, when an attack is declared involving uh, your face-up monster and an opponent's monster, you if you have an Odd Eyes card in your other Pendulum Zone, you can make, this, you can make that monster gain 20, uh, 1,200 attack until the end of this battle phase even if this card leaves the field so your opponent tries to activate something to negate it or to destroy it um it still goes off either way because it will not necessarily negate it but it gets it just destroys it um when this pendulum summon card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by attacking you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to the number of odd eyes cards in your pendulum zones times 1200 so if you do a, like a direct attack, you can use its effect to just deal an extra 1,200 if you only have like one um, odd eyes. Or 2,400 if you have um, two odd eyes in your pendulum zones. Next, of course, we run um, sadly only one odd eyes persona. Now you guys are thinking, well, why only one? Well, because it, one is a little bit easier to play and a little bit more manageable. And then again, at the same time... Um, this card's uh, this card is just you know mainly pen scale or re uh, level seven synchros or so forth and so forth. So that it or level eight synchros. Now a new twist I threw into the deck was that we threw into the deck was Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon, mainly mainly for burn damage and at the same time just every time he's special summoned. Um, every time this card is special summoned, just bounce all your all uh, spells and traps your opponent controls back to the hand so your opponent's just sitting there like oh no and then he has to pay like 500 points of damage just to um, reverse that damage um, just to just to be able to activate anything 
you run your standard three Supreme King Dark Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. Um, great um, link material at the same time as I've opened up with one and actually with like a dragon shrine and like had to mill the second one just to bring out um, either link monster, get two level sevens in my hand, uh, both um, both um, gate zeros, or I just like use this card for an ability to just uh, nuke, uh, just to bring out a dark war, a Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion a lot quicker. Now, I know you guys are already like, well, Sasuke, what happened? You know, you used to have a stand. Now you don't. What happened? Nah, it's all good, guys. It's just water under the bridge. Anyway, going on, we have our, of course, two Supreme King Gate Zero. Because what is the Supreme King package without the Gate Zero? Now, if you want to, you can opt out one Gate Zero for a Gate Infinity. But that's entirely if you want. You don't have to. This is just my playing choice. Um... And it actually suits me a little bit well, a little bit better. So, yeah, that uh, helps out tremendously for me, at least. Um, you do have your three, of course, um, Chronograph Sorcerer, mainly because, well, duh, if an opponent, if your opponent destroys a monster, one of your pendulum monsters while he's in your hand, just effect special, and then sp by his effect special summon another, um, another pendulum monster from your special summon another monster from your hand and your opponent's just sitting there like oh okay then and then of course at the same time you could just use him to banish everything to bring out zark if you're going for that kind of a turbo or that kind of an engine or whatever and at the same time this card is a great uh scale eight and a good level six for a level six uh rank six play so three copies and of course it actually helps you get out your time uh time gazer real quickly speaking of your time gazer of course your next card is time gazer uh mainly because of the fact that um it does have the ability to tell your opponent screw you you cannot activate any traps until the end of the damage step so if your opponent say has like oh i don't know a mirror force uh or anything like that face down and it's in the battle phase and this card's in your pendulum scale and you have like an odd eyes or a or a magician in your other pendulum scale your opponent's just going to be sitting there like oh no 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 of course next we have like one jean k now your guys are probably gonna be uh pissed at me and be like what happened to the two I know my signature was two, but I run it at one now, mainly because it is a little bit better at one and it's less bulky. Um, at the same time, he's actually great for making a double, um, like a rank up in a sense. And it's not really a rank up, it's just change. It, he allows your, um, like once per turn, you can literally change your target and XE's monster you control, change its level, change its rank into a level, and then you could just overlay again using that same XE's monster. So that actually helps out with the extra deck, quite frankly. Then we have your, of course, your Noble Dragon Magician, mainly for your Synchro plays and because it's a great tuner. And then again, at the same time, reduce an odd eyes level down by three, special summon it, then Synchro off for your Meteor Burst or any uh, level seven monsters. We have your Oath Dragon Magician mainly because you can literally just add an, a magician or a or a or an odd eyes pendulum monster from your extra deck back to your hand, and your your opponent just gonna be sitting there like, oh, that just happened. And at the same time, if you actually stop to think about it, this is another level six, so it helps a little bit more with your rank six plays, which a lot of people are not happy about. Of course, if you're running out of, you know, options and you need to bring out an all-trump card, you have, of course, your all Eyes Phantom Dragon, mainly because when it enters a battle, literally become, its attack literally becomes double, so it goes from three from a 3k beat stick to a 6k beat stick. And then again, at the same time, um, uh, once per turn, when your opponent activates a spell or trap card or effect, quick effect, you can send one spell or trap card you control to the graveyard and negate the activation. So, literally just say, okay, say goodbye to my field spell, effect negate. You have your uh, perform pal auto fusion, mainly because either in the pendulum zone or on the field as a monster, whichever one you have, him at, have it as, it is one entire 
intensely intimidating and literally reliable um reliable um card for fusion summoning so that helps out tremendously of course another tuner your performer pal on i synchron um just mainly for synchro summoning and just pissing your opponent off even more I know we used to run Odd Eyes Advanced Dragon, but we are now running uh, Lancer Dragon. Um, so if you're if you're if a pendulum monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you contribute one monster special summon this card from your hand. If this card attacks, your opponent cannot activate any spells or trap cards until the end of the damage step. If an Odd Eyes card cards you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy one Odd Eyes card in your hand, monster zone, or pendulum zone instead. So he's like. Okay, I'm gonna protect my mons. I'm gonna protect my fellow dragon, and at the same time, I'm just gonna say, okay, forget you. And then we have the one Archfiend Eccentric. Um, its pendulum zone is uh, you can target uh, one other spell or trap card on the field, destroy both it and this card. You can only use this effect of Archfiend Eccentric once per turn. Uh, you can tribute this card, then target one monster on the field, destroy it. You can only use Archfiend Eccentric once per turn. So mainly, I, I'm guessing you'd only use it for the monster ability to just like, okay, normal effect, tribute, d say goodbye to your monster. So that's the end of the monsters. Let's get into the spells, starting off with our field spells. Now, this is actually going to surprise you. Well, not this card, but the next one will. We run the three Sky Irises, of course, Standard in any other in any uh, odd eyes or pendulum based deck that runs something that needs this to protect its monsters, and then of course we run a Mystic Mine. Now you guys may be asking why a Mystic Mine? Mainly because you can tell your opponent screw you if you control less monsters than he does. Now I know you guys can't really see me smile as I say that, <laughs> but hey, I'm smiling over here. I've used it on. I've used it against a friend of mine and he was just sitting there like okay this is not gonna bode well and i'm like no it is not so yeah not really gonna get into that much detail you have your of course standard uh three spiral flame strike if you open up and you need your uh odd eyes arc pendulum you have your spiral flame strikes to get it out for you or if you just need an extra card to be like okay well screw your monster well spiral flame strike ha <laughs> ha now we have the one pendulum call and the one dragon shrine pendulum call to get out your um to discard one card and just add two magicians to your hand and then of course dragon shrine mainly because you just want to mill your dark worm so yeah that's what those two are for and a lot of guys are going to be like sasuke you're going too fast we have our two Ignite Reloads, mainly for draw power. You just reveal Pendulum Monster, as many Pendulum Monsters in your hand, shuffle them back into the deck, draw the exact same amount, plus one. So basically, you have an entire hand of Pendulum Monsters, and you need to shuffle them back in because it's useless. In fact, just shuffle in four, draw five, and you have a new hand. Then we have the two Odd Eyes Fusion, mainly because of your fusion plays, nothing more, nothing less. And actually, at the same time, you could just use uh, Odd Eyes Monsters from your extra deck, um, if I recall correctly. Uh, do, 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 two more monsters, okay. You can use two Odd Eyes Monsters uh, in your extra deck as fusion materials. So that actually does help out quite a bit when in a jam. Okay, then you have your Regeki, of course, mainly for uh, disruption. Your opponent's like, oh, I'm going to spam the board. Oh, really? Regeki. And just watch him be like, oh, all that hard work for nothing. You have your Odd Eyes Advent, mainly for bringing out Big Bad Wolf, uh, Gravity Dragon. <laughs> and actually, a, an interesting scenario about this, you can actually use uh, monsters from your graveyard to bring them out at the same time. So... Keep that in mind next time you're going up against an Odd Eyes deck that runs Gravity Dragon. Then you have the one terraforming, of course, to search out your, uh, the desired, uh, you know, field spell. That is all 40 cards of the main deck. Let's get into the extra deck. So, we have the one Gravity Controller, mainly because, um, ah, once per turn, once per turn, well, 
It, it requires one non-link monster in the extra monster zone. Cannot be used as link material. The turn it is link summoned. This card in the extra monster zone cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster in the main monster zone. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster in the extra monster zone, you're, you can return both that opponent's that opponent's monster and this card to the deck so your opponent's just going to be sitting there like okay well i'm going to attack okay well effect we're just going to bounce each other back and it's a good wall defense at the same time then you have your heretic uh seal of the heavenly spheres mainly because it is a pain in the butt because you contribute one monster from your hand or field return one face-up card on the field to that on the field to the hand if this card is tributed special summon one dragon monster from your deck or hand from your hand or deck but make its attack and defense zero you can only use this effect of heretic seal of the heavenly spheres once per turn ah oh, that did not feel right next we have your link three zephyr metaltron mainly because if, by its effect literally you could just uh, banish uh, one of your opponent's uh, special summon monster. Uh... Okay, so let me read its effect, sorry. If a monster this card points to that was special summoned from the extra deck is destroyed by battle or or an opponent's card effect, add one monster from your graveyard or face up pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand. You can, you can target one monster on each player's field that was special summoned from the extra deck except this card banish both until the end phase. You can only use this each. You can only use each effect of Zephyr Metaltron once per turn. So it's technically a higher variant of Cypher and Lord Omega. Yeah, who wouldn't want to go against that? Of course, we have our Borlo Dragon, and yes, I do still run Borlo Dragon because I see that this is the better option for this deck. And another deck that I'm building is going to be running a Boral Sword. <sighs> Which I hope I can finish soon. But this one literally just states uh, neither neither player can target this card with monster effects once per turn. Quick effect. You can target one face up monster on the field. It loses 500 attack and defense. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this activation. At the start of the damage step, if this card attacks an opponent's monster, you can place that opponent's monster in a zone this card points to and take control of it but send it to the graveyard during the end phase so your opponent's just gonna be basically sitting there like oh, okay it's effects are negate like i'm gonna just gonna attack this one with a higher attack points nope actually effect i'm gonna take it and use it against you so yeah we have your supreme king dark rebellion uh ow sorry guys I know that this is not really what you guys like or anything, but I'm trying and I will get a stance soon again, but you just be patient with me, guys. So, we are continuing, uh, sorry, we have Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion, mainly because drain your opponent's attack points down to zero, and then just watch them cry. Yeah, that's the only reason. You have your Nitro, the Immortal Leader. Mm, yeah, it's very interesting. Either way, the reason why we run it is mainly because of negation. That's pretty much the only reason why we run it. Oh, so, yeah. Then we have your Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon, mainly because, um, A, attack, effect, negate, special summon, and Odd Eyes back to the field. So, that helps out so much. Like, it's not even funny. We have your Odd Eyes Raging Dragon, mainly because you would just want to nuke your opponent's board and just attack him twice for game and just watch him cry if he has nothing to negate. So, yeah. You have your Dark Anthelion Dragon, which is just basically an upgraded variant and a better variant of Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. But it's also a level 7, and the scale is amazing. Look at that. That's a scale 10 right there. So, yeah. And then again, at the same time, it's Pendulum Ability. Once per turn, if you tar you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, have its current, have its original attack until the end, until the end of this turn, even if this card leaves the field. So, like, literally, even if it's in the Pendulum Skull, just say, screw you, your attack points are cut in half. And just watch your opponent be like, no! Why? Odd Eyes Meteor Burst mainly because it is good for extending rank 7 plays. And at the same time, you get a special summon one monster from your uh, Pendulum Zone. 
who wouldn't love that? Then we just run the Supreme King Clear, uh, Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing, mainly because um, if this card is synchro summoned, you could destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls once per turn before damage calculation. If this card battles an opponent's monster, destroy that monster, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the um, equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. And if this card is in your graveyard, you can tr you can tribute two Supreme King Dragon monsters special summon this card. So, literally, it's a, it's a, it's actually a pretty fair way to say, fuck you, go and, go and, uh, go and cry. So, yeah, a lot of people really don't use that other effect, but, you know, hey, it's still worth it. You have your Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, mainly because bounce and negation, bounce every, bounce a monster every time it's, uh, special summoned, and just literally negate by shuffling one pendulum, um, one pendulum monster from your face up extra deck into your main deck. So you're just sitting there with your opponent just like, oh how cute. Like I'm just recycling my monsters and everything and you're just sitting there like what do I do? Supreme King uh sorry not Supreme King sorry it's uh it's uh Starving Venom Fusion Dragon mainly because of the fact that you get to steal your opponent's monsters name, attack, and ability and at the same time if he's destroyed just nuke your opponent's uh board if it's fully if it's full of special summon monsters anything that's special summoned on your opponent's board is just like okay goodbye you have your starving venomy lethal dose dragon now you guys are probably wondering well, why do you run this card everyone says it's a piece of shit but no it actually is not the reason being i run this card is mainly because each time a card is sent to the graveyard i get to place another venomy counter on it and if it has a venomy counter during my turn i can say negate everything and at the same time, for every Venomy counter he has on him, cut your monster down by 200 attack. And all monsters except Dark Dragons. So, this helps out. This helps. A lot of people are like, no it doesn't. Yes it does. Then of course, my one of my all-time favorites of the Venom Dragon variants, the Odd Eyes Venom Dragon the reason being that we run this is not so much because it's very easy to bring up because it ain't. It really ain't. Not unless um, Supreme King Venom, Supreme King Dragon Venom, uh, Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom would have still been around. He would have made a, this card would have been really easy to bring out. Why? And mainly because of the fact that, A, you need a Starving Venom and one Odd Eyes Monster. So, yeah, either way, the, one of the main reasons why we run this is because 3300 uh, beat stick still the attack points name and effect, and at the same time, your opponent sits there like, oh, and then once per turn, you can target one fusion monster you control, it gains 1000 attack for each monster your opponent controls until the end of the turn. So, you have, like, so many fusion monsters, it, I mean, so many, uh, your opponent has so many monsters, it helps out. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys back here next time.